Every branch has a mascot, a symbol, a vehicle that embodies all the best features of the development traditions of the nation. The Germans have the mouse. The French have the bachette. Whether the Progetto M35 Mod 46 will become such a symbol of its branch is still unknown, but why not? It's the one boasting the main feature of the Italian vehicle's unique reloading mechanics. What new possibilities does it offer? And how do you play the Progetto anyway? The Progetto 46 is a Tier 8 medium tank, an elegant vehicle. Italian designers know how to make beautiful things, be it a stool, a chandelier, a sports car, or even military equipment. The most interesting part of the tank is its gun. It's equipped with a new mechanic, auto reloading. It combines classic and cyclic loading characteristics with those of a drum. The magazine contains three shells, which are loaded one at a time. Auto-reloading starts right after a shot is fired, which means the Progetto 46 enables you to shoot in two modes. Single shots are a series of them, with two or three shells fired, followed by a short interval. It grants flexibility that no other vehicle possesses. But keep in mind that you can't load shells of different types into one magazine. If you cue them, the ammunition type will change only after the magazine is empty. For a quick change of ammunition, the whole magazine will need to be loaded anew. To understand the best ways to use the Progetto 46's magazine, let's have a look at its characteristics. Reloading from empty takes almost 28 seconds. Each shell has a different loading time. The third one takes about 12 seconds, while the first one takes less than 8, which places it on the level of the Panther II and the T-54 first prototype. The average damage per shot is 240, which is normal for a vehicle of this type and tier. Damage per minute is 1,877, but that value may vary. The Progetto 46 DPM depends on how you fire. Maximum DPM is reached when you fire only the first shell and wait for it to reload. As for the other gun characteristics, there's nothing to scoff at. Good armor penetration, perfect accuracy, and quick aiming in magazine reload times. Well, the tank has good gun characteristics, offering unique possibilities. Let's see how the Progetto 46 implements them. A streamlined turret, clever armor design, everything suggests a solid ability to absorb damage, including the gun elevation and depression angles, minus nine degrees, an excellent value. But rough figures destroy this illusion. No depression angle can help you with the 60 millimeters of front armor. It isn't any better with the turret. The Progetto 46 is easily penetrated even in the gun mantlet, let alone other softer spots. Absorbing damage with the 30 mm sides would be a miracle. Thin armor isn't a mistake, but the result of precise implementation of the technical task. The Progetto design reflects an interesting theory by General Francesco Rossi. He didn't think heavy tanks were needed in the upcoming war and the battlefield would belong to light vehicles, weighing up to 35 tons, which is the exact weight of the Progetto 46. It resembles a light tank in more ways than its armor thickness. It's a nimble vehicle. Even a light tank can't outmaneuver it with its turn speed. A good view range of 390 meters, the Progetto's power to weight ratio is 18 and a half horsepower per ton, which is less than that of light tanks of the same tier, but is more than the majority of medium tanks. 
It's the same story with the Speed. This tank is one of the three fastest vehicles in its tier. In addition to the peculiar loading system, the Progetto 46 has another unique characteristic also related to its gun. You can't install a gun rammer on tanks with a drum, but on this one, you can. That gives you an immense advantage. The magazine will load almost three seconds faster, which makes the rammer the number one item in the list of additional equipment. Number two is coated optics, which expand the view range to 429 meters. This tank can be a scout. If you install ventilation, train the crew and feed them spaghetti, you'll increase the view range to 466 meters. The third shell will be reloaded within nine and a half seconds, while the first will take a little over six seconds. Improved equipment and pre-battle directives help create a solid experience. The Progetto M35 Mod 46 is a quick tank with thin armor and a good gun. So, you need to play it carefully. To play it efficiently, follow these simple rules. Avoid duels with vehicles that have autoloaders. Their magazine reloads almost as quickly, but has more shells in it. Try to fire one shell at a time. Use up the magazine only in exchange for something very important, like finishing off an adversary or helping out an ally. Use the last shell only in extreme circumstances. Monitor the shell reloading time. It's often better to wait a couple more seconds to have one more shell to fire. The power of the Progetto 46 is in its versatility. It's up to you to decide when to use the ace in your sleeve and the shells that come with it. Assess the situation. Act on it. Good luck on the battlefield.